Hey guys, it's been a long time I have posted a video on e-study. Today's topic is understanding lipids. So without any further ado, let's get started. Due to the increased length of the video, I have uh, increased the speed of the shots up to 4 times. So I advise you to put on your headphones and concentrate on the audio as well as take the screenshot wherever possible. Starting with the definition. Lipids. Lipids are any class of organic compounds that are fatty acids or their derivatives and are insoluble in water and soluble in other organic solvents. As we know water is a polar compound and lipids are soluble in organic solvents that are non-polar in nature. Example of organic solvent is chloroform. Now let's have a look at the nomenclature. According to definition lipids are either fatty acids or their derivatives. So the rules for the carboxylic acid will be applied for IUPAC nomenclature. The fatty acid molecule in the lipid is divided into saturated which contains carbon-carbon single bond which are alkanes plus acid and unsaturated which contain carbon-carbon double bond which are alkenes plus acid. Now let's have a look on examples of nomenclature of saturated fatty acids. The common name of two carbon fatty acid is acetic acid while the IUPAC name is ethanoic acid. The ratio of unsaturation is 2 is to 0 as it contains two carbons with zero unsaturation. Same goes for the propionic acid where the IUPAC name is n-propanoic acid and the ratio of unsaturation is 3 is to 0. It contains 3 carbon with 0 unsaturation. Now coming to the valeric acid. The IUPAC name is n-pentanoic acid and the ratio is 5 is to 0. It contains 5 carbons and 0 unsaturation. Coming to the confusing part with common names. Caproic acid consists of 6 carbons hence it is called hexanoic acid while caprylic acid contains 8 carbon and it is known as octanoic acid and capric acid contains 10 carbons hence it is called decanoic acid. The lauric acid contains 12 carbons hence it is called dodecanoic acid. As the number of carbons after the 10th carbon increases, we call them as tetra for 14, hexa for 16 and octa for 18. Hence the structures are called tetra decanoic acid, hexa decanoic acid and octa decanoic acid respectively. A special name to the arachidic acid is given eicosanoic acid as it contains 20 carbons with ratio 20 is to 0 of unsaturation. Arachidic acid being the precursor for eicosanoids molecules which are synthesized within the body and some of these include inflammatory mediators. Now let's see the nomenclature of some unsaturated fatty acid molecules. The IUPAC name for palmitolic acid is cis 9 hexadecenoic acid. While cis indicates the placement of atom around the double bond and 9 indicates the presence of double bond. While the presence of E and E in the structure indicates alkene that is presence of double bond 
the 16 carbon structure has one double bond and it is on the ninth carbon now let's count the number of carbons one ch2 seven times that is one plus seven equals to eight and the double bond is now on the ninth carbon the IUPAC name for oleic acid is cis 9 octa decinoic acid the structure is of 18 carbon hence it is known as octa decinoic acid 18 carbons with one double bond that is on the ninth carbon 1 8 and 9 the IUPAC name for linoleic acid is cis cis 9 comma 12 octa deca dienoic acid 18 carbon structure with two double bonds on the 9th and the 12th carbon let's check 1 8 and 9 double bond on the 9th one 10 11 and 12 double bond between 12 and the 13th one the IUPAC name for linolenic acid is all cis 9 12 15 octa deca trienoic acid it is an 18 carbon structure with three double bonds placed on 9th 12th and 15th carbon the IUPAC name for arachidonic acid is all cis 5 8 11 14 ecosa tetra enoic acid where enoic represents the number of double bonds so the 20 carbon structure consists of four double bonds that is on fifth carbon eighth carbon 11th carbon and the 14th carbon now let's see what are essential fatty acids these are the fatty acid molecules that should be supplied in diet that can't be synthesized in the body they are polyunsaturated fatty acids the functions of essential fatty acids include they act as the structural and functional unit of membrane they act as transporter of cholesterol they act as precursor of eicosanoids which is a 20 carbon structure the precursor is arachidonic acid the deficiency symptoms of essential fatty acid include phrynoderma or toad skin which is horny eruptions or roughness of skin now let's study about TAG triacylglycerol it is made up of esters of fatty acid plus glycerol the functions of triacylglycerol include it is stored as fuel in animals it primarily occurs in adipose tissue in animals it is used as an energy source while in adipose tissue it acts as insulator or for heat production now let's see the properties of triacylglycerol hydrolysis in presence of enzyme lipase triacylglycerol undergoes hydrolysis to give free fatty acid and glycerol molecule saponification triacylglycerol in presence of sodium hydroxide gives glycerol and salt of acid the third property is rancidity on exposure to air fats or oils undergo oxidation which leads to change in taste that is unpleasant taste in the fats and oils antioxidants these are the compounds or elements which avoid the fatty acid to undergo oxidation. Let's see the test to check the purity of fats or oils. Iodine number. It is the grams of iodine absorbed by 100 gram of fat. It gives the degree of unsaturation that is presence of double bond in the fatty acid. Second is the saponification number. It is the amount of milligram of KOH required to neutralize, sorry, not neutralize, hydrolyze one gram of fats or oils. 
record my cell number. It is the ML of 0.1 normal KOH required to neutralize soluble volatile fatty acid from 5 gram of fat. The saponification number gives the number of carbons that is the short chain and long chain fatty acids. Acid value It is the milligram of KOH required to neutralize free fatty acids in 1 gram of fat or oil. While the saponification is hydrolysis, the acid number is neutralization. It gives the presence of free fatty acids. Let's see the classification of lipids. Lipids are classified as simple lipids which are further classified as fats or oils. Fats or oils are esters of fatty acid which contain glycerol as alcohol. Waxes are the same as fats or oils they contain other alcohol than glycerol. The second type is complex lipids. The complex lipid include phospholipids which contain the phosphate group. Glycerophospholipids and sphingophospholipids are further classification. Glycerophospholipid contain glycerol as alcohol while the sphingophospholipid contain sphingosine as the alcohol. Hence, the phospholipid contain phosphates plus fatty acid. The second type of complex lipid is glycolipid. They contain sphingosine as alcohol and carbohydrates. Hence, the glycolipids does not contain phosphate group and glycerol. Lipoproteins. These are the molecules that contain fatty acid and protein molecules. These are high molecular weight macromolecules. Other complex lipids include the lipids which contain amino group and fatty acid. And the second class is fatty acid plus polysaccharides. The derived lipids include the hydrolysis product of the lipids. These are alcohols, fatty acids and vitamins. The miscellaneous lipids include the molecules that have similar structure as of lipids. These include carotenoids. Now let's see the structures of phospholipids. When you take three alkyl groups and the esters of acid you will get a triacylglycerol molecule if you replace an alkyl group with a phosphate group the structure is now known as phosphatidic acid when you attach one oxygen of the phosphate group to ethanolamine the structure you get is phosphatidyl ethanolamine which is also known as cephalin when you replace two hydrogens of the amine molecule with three methyl groups, the structure is known as choline and the common name is lecithin. When you attach the amino acid serine to the phosphate group, the structure you get is phosphatidyl serine. When you attach the one oxygen atom of a phosphate group to inositol group, what you get is phosphatidyl inositol. The inositol contains HOH bond on the first and the third carbon and OHH bond on the rest of all the carbons. When you remove the carbonyl group on the first alkyl group and add ethene on the first alkyl group, and attach the phosphate group to the ethanol amine what you get is known as plasmalogen or phosphatidyl ethanol amine coming to the complex part when you attach the phosphate group to the glycerol molecule and the end of the glycerol molecule to another phosphatidic acid molecule 
what you get is known as cardiolipin. This structure is also known as diphosphatidyl glycerol. When you draw a 16 carbon side chain with a double bond between the 14th and the 15th carbon and this structure attached to an alkyl group with amide linkage and a hydroxy group on the 16th carbon and a methyl group on the 16th carbon attached to the phosphate group the lower oxygen atom of the phosphate group attached to tertiary ethanamine the upper 16 carbon side chain till the amine group is known as sphingosine while the whole upper structure with amide linkage is known as ceramide the tertiary ethanamine group is known as the choline while the whole structure is known as sphingomyelin let us now discuss the functions of lipids lipid functions as concentrated fuel reserve one fatty acid molecules yields more ATP than one glucose molecule. Lipids are the constituents of cell membrane, that is plasma membrane is made up of lipids. They also serve as the source of fat soluble vitamins, that is vitamin A, D, E and K. Vitamins are important as cellular metabolic regulators. The coating for internal organs is made up of lipids. They provide insulation, protection and texture to the skin. If this video helped you out, don't forget to smash that like button. If you want more videos on e-study, hit that red subscribe button. This is Yasir and I am signing out. Thanks for watching.